vegan this year, man. You did? Did you really? What made, what made you go vegan? I didn't expect the one of the police officers to be vegan. People like me who are sort of on the borderline, we need to be confronted because you can put it to the back of your mind. Yeah, when you're seeing the male chicks getting macerated then, like you kind of knew, but you don't really know until you see it. Goodness always prevails. They can't keep on doing that. No. Goodness always prevails, mate. Are you getting some good reactions, Dan? Because like, the people you don't talk to, they see the sign, want this to end change to vegan, and they see the animal in there struggling and bleeding. You know, you don't necessarily have to have an outreach conversation with them, although it would be much more effective, but just leaving these up there like that, it's still planting seeds, you know? Yeah, yeah, I like what you're doing. Thanks, brother, I appreciate it, man, eh? Hey? Yeah. Awesome, bro. Yeah, yeah. Okay, are you a vegan? Um, I was uh, vegan for six years, but not anymore. Oh, really? What happened? Um, convenience. Ah, oh, really? I went to South France for holidays and there was just nothing to eat. Mm. Um, so I thought, well, and I just kind of fell off the rails. Fell off. Yeah. Why'd you go vegan in the first place? Um, uh, it's not the animal welfare. I think it's health and fitness. Oh, did you? Oh, that's yeah, probably why you feel it. Yeah, brother, how you going? Somebody come, come and see you, lad. I've, I've, I, last time, they took a nice saw it all, you know, what, what you're showing now. Yeah, man. Uh, it's yeah. disgusting, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just come and speak to I, I'm watching it. To be honest with you, mate, it was quite graphic. It was showing you dead pigs who had swollen, gone black, and the, and the other pigs were eating them. Yeah, it's and called it, cannibalism. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. disgusting, mate. I'm yeah, totally on your side of it about, you know what I mean? I try, mate. Do you, know, do, you know, do you know what I order, mate? I, don't, I won't buy beef, yeah. but I order. For McDonald's, veggie burgers, yeah, veggie yeah. burgers don't take away. I don't order, that's fine, mate. All I order, all I order is veggie burgers. Yeah, I, good, I, I good work, man. That, that, but that's disgusting. Did you mate. take one of these? Yeah, because I've got all the good restaurants on there for you if you've got one. Yeah, give it the, They've got yeah, good yeah, vegan yeah. options here, oh, vegan options at Greg's, yeah, vegan options. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It are sound, mate. So I'll show you, like, you, yeah, if you go to these yeah. joints, I'll show you where the vegan stuff sound, is. Sound, mate. Yeah, sound. On you, bro. Yeah. Sound makes I eat my veggies out of the mice, do you know what I mean? You don't want to eat someone's body, eh? Yeah, no. mate. You know what I mean? Yeah. After they've eaten the cells and then you. No, mate. I'm yeah. not, I agree, I'm totally not yeah. like. I know, I, I bet you are. Totally. I, you are, you have a good response. Disgusting, mate. Honestly, God. That's why, mate. You're, you're a good person, mate. You're, you're honestly, a good. Honestly, God. I only eat uh, veggie burgers. I will not eat. That's disgusting, that what they're doing. Cruel. It's, it's not cruel, mate. It's, it's cruel. Inhumane. It's cruel. Inhumane. Yeah. It's inhumane. Inhumane and cruel, yeah. It's inhumane, mate. And to be honest with you, I don't know how they're getting away with it. We're the first so it's world, legal, shouldn't we? We're the first world yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to get caught. That's all right. We're the first world country, mate. Come on. And we're, yeah. and, we're, and we're behaving like that. Leave it out, mate. Come on, isn't it? Yeah, this is all legal standard practice and... Uh, how you know, can it be? It's, it's, I don't know, it's horrible. We're He's trying, to, we're trying to change it. We're trying to change it. He's got to, mate. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to the car, watch it. Peace to you, my brother. Totally on your side. Thank and you, my friend. Him, I'm all the best that Well, we win, do you know what I mean? Uh, Thank you so much, my brother. Here, I hope mate. so. Here, only goodness always prevails. They can't keep on doing that. No. Goodness always prevails, mate. Do I it. hope I'm so, like, my brother. Ah, I hope so, eh? Hey. Honestly, God, all I eat is veggie burgers out I am. Do you think I'm putting money in their pocket after what they're doing to animals? Exactly. Oh, that, mate. Exactly, mate, eh? Hey. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Here, mate. Honestly, God, I'm not just a vegetarian, mate. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. I won't eat them. You know what I mean? And uh, these are the egg, the, these are the egg industry, the egg and dairy industries. They torture and slaughter all the animals as well. So that's why I gave you this for vegan. You know, plant based. Yeah, yeah. I'll read that. Yeah, yeah. Read, yeah, read. Check it out, my brother. Yeah, mate. It's, it's horrible. It is. It is. Honestly. Yeah. Anywhere, mate. You're from the veil. You're we from the veil. Like that. Do you know what I mean? Eh? We've got that, we've got, you know what I mean, that we can't keep going on like that. Look at that, look at it. That's called musing. I don't give a f what it's called, it's disgusting. They, they cut off their tails so they don't get fly strike. <laughs> Horrible. Look, look at that, what the f This is in the UK, this is a wool industry. They're knacking it, they're bagging it. Uh, this is a UK expose. You're calling it a bastard? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Slamming the edge against hardwood floors. Get the f. 
Yeah. Pardon, pardon my French. I'll see Dwayne stitching it up. Yeah, because they've got wrinkly skin, so when they're shearing them, it cuts their skin. Yeah. Peace, my brother. Yeah. You'd be a good vegan activist. It's horrible, man. Wish everyone reacted like that, though, like just angry, you know, like just this is horrible and I'm on your side, you know, but like what, what happens all too often is that people will blame the activists for sharing this with them. They'll be like, oh, what are you sharing with this? Oh, and they'll start attacking the activist when they should be attacking this industry. They shouldn't, well, for starters, they shouldn't be supporting it. You shouldn't be supporting it. And then you should be on our side. You should be angry with us against this. Like that guy was angry and against this. Um, doesn't want to put a dollar, one more cent into the, the, the pockets of these animal abusers and the world would be a better place if everyone was like that. Probably 150 people have walked past and looked at those. But I shared this footage not too long ago on my Facebook and got 220,000 views. <laughs> 220,000. How many cubes do you think you'd have to do? How many stands do you think you'd have to do? before you reach 220,000 people with the slaughterhouse footage. But on Facebook, just like that. If you've, got a, if you've developed your platform, developed your following, you know, um, you can just share it out like that. Nothing more powerful than social media. That's the gas chambers, man. Have you seen them before? I was watching them a bit earlier, but I didn't see this bit. Yeah. Yeah, they're the gas chambers. Yeah, what what do we, a big place, big company is not buying these meat and that. Like, where, where's the meat going? So most of the pigs in the UK will be killed in these gas chambers. Really? Yeah, most of the pigs in England and Wales, so it's like 86% of them um, are killed in the gas chambers. Some, there's a big gas chamber in Manchester. What's going on? Is this gassing them now? So what they do is, is they are getting gassed. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Surely there's another way to do it. I don't think we should be doing it at all. Well, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, is there a good way to kill someone? Yeah, like, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you're right. You bang right. I didn't even think. This was. This, they, they, they said this is the most humane method. So before they were bolt gunning them, and all they're they were. All, they're all in, they look like they're all in pain. They, yeah, because the CO2 reacts with their mu like have you ever cracked a can of coke yeah, yeah. you know like that that fizzy that's, yeah. that's what they use CO2 gas really? so it reacts with their mucus in their eyes and in their lungs and in their body and they, they suffocating and they're they're physically burning so yeah that's it's just a horrible way to go and these animals are more intelligent than dogs they're just they're just like big dogs you know no worries, brother. Boycott these industries, brother. Yeah, Eat plant-based, be vegan. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No worries, brother. On you, mate. That's a dairy industry, bro. They're shooting the calves, yeah, because they they don't they don't uh, produce milk. They're males, so they shoot them on the farm. Yeah, thousands of male calves are. Uh, shot on farms here every year in the UK. Um, this is a calf slaughterhouse in Australia. Um, this calf here, I found this calf in the bin of, at a dairy farm in the UK. Uh, some people look at it and go, oh my God, that's messed up. Like that other guy, when I said that those calves were being shot on the farm, he was pissed off about it. But those dudes walk past smiling and laughing, going, oh, should we go vegan laughing? And I don't know, like, there's a difference between two different types of people. Like, there's got to be at least half a dozen people that come up to me every time we do a uh, stand, eh? It's crazy, dude. Like, a lot of them aren't even vegan. They're watching all my stuff. But on my Facebook, I'm reaching seven and a half million a month. That's why most people that know me, know me, watch me on Facebook. Because it just spreads, it spreads so far. And what happens is they watch one video and then Facebook, the algorithm starts recommending more and more and more vid videos. Have you seen this before, bro? <clears throat> yeah, this is your UK farms and slaughterhouses. You know? Your mum's got one there, uh. Oh, has she? Yeah, no. A slaughterhouse or a farm? Uh, farm. Pig farm? Stinks? Yeah. They're really bad, yeah. 
Most pigs here are factory farmed in big I'll sheds. Clean tails off like that. Because uh, in captivity, the pigs will bite their tail, each other's tails, so they snip them off. They snip their teeth down too, so they don't bite each other as well. Because they're not supposed to be in those, you know, like this. Covered in their own shit, yeah. You're a vegan? If you're against animal cruelty, like we're just asking people not to pay for it, you know what I mean? So we just ask people to be vegan. Don't want any money from anyone, want them to stop putting money into industries that abuse animals, you know what I mean? Because most people are against animal cruelty. What's that, eggs? Gotta give up eggs. Yeah, well, in the egg industry, the male chicks, they destroy them because they don't oh, produce eggs. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, like, Facebook, it? yeah, how you going, brother? Good to mate. see you, mate. See Thanks, brother. Bro. <laughs> Getting the message out there. <laughs> um, yeah, in the egg industry, they kill the males on their first day of life, so as soon as they hatch, they separate them and they put them in this big uh, blender. They kill the males. They keep the females, yeah. This has got good, some good switch-ups in there. Got some good places to eat. Um, they usually have good vegan options. My dad wrote about going vegan, and I was like, was it? vegan, yeah, yeah. And I go, I go, you best throw away all your leather jackets. He goes, no, I'm not that kind of vegan, just with the food, and I'm like. Like plant-based? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't wear the skin of an animal. Like, I wouldn't wear the skin of a dog. Like, I wouldn't wear the skin of a cow. This film here, uh, Dominion, it's an important film. It shows how they exploit them in each in industry, so dairy, eggs, and it's important for you to know, so you know what you're paying for, you know what you're consuming. Like, I go for more of the animal rights position, you know what I mean? Like, Only is nice. Yeah. If, 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 you know, say, like, herding up and breeding a bunch of dogs and cutting their heads off was bad for the environment, I'd first say that it's cruel, you know? Yeah. Like, that'd be the second thing I'd probably talk yeah. about was the environment. Like, I started getting soy milk, though. Did you? Nice. 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 It's good. Well, nice. Good. That's all. I think if you are going to eat meat, you should also take the responsibility for the animal's life. Because, like, if you go through, like, if you if you just buy a super bar, a supermarket meat, then you kind of a lot of people just forget about what's happened. So you should. They're disconnected. Just, yeah, you should respect the animal for its life. And, How do you respect? Okay, that's a good one. How do you respect an animal when you shoot them in the head and cut their head off and turn them into meat? Well, it's like in like some uh, like some religions and so, some cultures there's like the thing of if you do take an animal's life you should use the entirety of it and okay, not waste yeah. any yeah. And you should only, like, they actually do yeah you should only take an animal's life if you really need it and if you don't then you shouldn't you shouldn't because, okay yeah. yeah i agree so I, 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 I agree that yeah. like wilderness to do it they do it because they need to, not because they... Not well, if I had to kill you, I probably would if I had to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's a different scenario. Like, when you go and... Like, would you, you'd, you'd kill me if you had to. Like, if you didn't, you'd be pretty silly. If you had to kill someone, you would, you know? Like, if you have to kill an animal, I would. Yeah. If I had to kill... We yeah. have the same rights as us, in a way, because we are the same... Similar. Like Similar. Like, I wouldn't say right to drive a car, right to vote, all these things. But they don't need them. Like, just right to bodily autonomy, yeah. like, you know... Well, they should have the right to... In the same way, we have a right to live, like, uh, on the land that we have. So should they. Like, they yeah, should, they should shouldn't be enslaved. They yeah. shouldn't be chopped up into pieces and used for their bodies. should just let them live their life. They shouldn't be forcibly bred and mass bred into these farms and executed. Like, mass farming is brutal. Yeah. Did you hear about that uh, island? There's this like, island that's like, uninhabited, yeah. yeah. So, like, people can, like, can, like, move fish over there and create, like, a whole ecosystem. And yeah. it's, like, illegal to inhabit that island. So, that's like, there's going to be, like, a reef there. Yeah. Wow. Well, uh, yeah, well, what they do, humans are doing to the oceans, horrible. Well, the billions of land animals that we have now were, like, cows and chickens and pigs in, in these factory farms and stuff. Like, we're clearing all this land and breeding all these animals to eat, basically, and it's killing off all the wildlife and all the species are dying off and... Horrible. We're destroying our, our Earth so we can be cruel to animals and eat flesh and, you know. It's not going to go well because, like, there's going to be nothing left in the end. So no one can live if we keep going the same way. Yeah, and we're, well, we're growing all this plant food and we're feeding it all to the cows and to the pigs and to the chickens and then we're eating the flesh. So it's a bad use of our resources when we could eat the plant foods directly, use less water, less land. It's literally just an imbalance in the whole ecosystem. Everything has to be balanced perfectly, otherwise it just doesn't work and it always ends up just kind of... We're the imbalance, eh? Hey? Like, like they said, they talk about pest animals and we go out and hunting pet like we're the we the pest animal we kill more animal than any we, yeah we create the disharmony environment we're creating you know we're killing more species than any other animal we're the pest we, we you know i don't advocate for culling humans but you know i don't advocate for culling deer and all these other animals either there should be there should be a better way like yeah, yeah. plus like you can be as healthy 
uh, off plant-based food. Rather. You can be healthier. Yeah, like, you know, yeah. you can be an unhealthy vegan too, and just eat vegan chocolate and drink <laughs> Coke and soda and eat fries. But like, you could also be a super healthy vegan. You can be a healthy omnivore, like as well. Like, but you're not an ethical omnivore. Like, you're cutting an animal's head, head off and eating them. So, like, you know, if you can get the best of both worlds, like you're not cutting animals' heads off and you're healthy, then you, you can just do that. Like, there's heaps of different ways to be a vegan. Like, yeah. um. It's not just about food, it's about, you know, the, the products we use that we don't go to like rodeos and watch animals, you know, yeah. for entertainment and go to SeaWorld and things like that as well, or wear their skin and, yeah. you know, like just breeding animals, like breeding dogs and cats when there's all these animals at a shelter that are going to be like euthanized if we don't rescue them. So we, we adopt them and we try to feed them as ethically as we can. And, you know, it's just like just generally being trying to be good to animals and but being a vegan is not necessarily doing good things. It's like, stop doing bad things. Yeah, it's more about the mindset. So it's like a neutral position being a vegan. Yeah. Like, like what I'm doing like is being an activist, more, more positive. Cheers, brother. It's, it's more of a positive action, but being a vegan is like, you stop doing something bad. <laughs> so it's like, you're not eating them, you're not torturing them, you're not paying for them to be subjugated and killed. Yeah. It's kind of taking responsibility. Yeah, right? accountability. Yeah. That's what yeah, I'd, I was, wasn't a vegan seven years ago. I was eating steak every single night, big steaks. I was, you know, big meat eater, seven, chicken breasts a day trying to bodybuild and that like just um, so when I came back um, from when I was in Tanzania um, from because as well I was eating mainly vegetarian before that I came went there eat the most amazing food came back started eating meat again and made me feel really ill yeah and it was basically everything that I ate that had meat in it. detoxing yeah it just made me feel really grim and it was weird and it took ages for me to get used to it again but then even now it still makes me feel quite sick so I'll eat like half like mm. way less meat than I used to but, yeah yeah it was weird so many people don't understand what goes into that morsel of flesh, you know. It's you can't eat it if you don't know what's happened to it. Yeah. Like, people should question, like, where's this come from? Who's like, it come from? Yeah. Because animals are, are beings, they're someones, they're not things, they're not yeah. fruits and vegetables. They're, there's, there was a personality in that flesh that suffered and died. And yeah. So... But, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, this is challenge twenty-two. I don't know if you want one as well. This is challenge twenty-two. They, this, it's free help going vegan. Um, there's a bunch of cool, like just tips and tricks on here. Um, but yeah, it's pretty easy once you get into the flow. Like yeah. first, it's the food. Start with the food, and then you start thinking of the other, other products. And yeah. challenge twenty-two help you for twenty-two days, and it takes twenty-two days apparently to rebuild a new habit. So yeah. Tesco's and Sainsbury's big supermarkets like that, they really accommodating to vegans now um subway have got meatless meatball subs and um you know pizza hut vegan, papa john's those vegan subs are nice though <laughs> oh they tried i love them oh i tried that oh, well nice some of me went why'd you get that one i don't know what's the actual meatball i get the vegan meatball <laughs> <laughs> at least you know vegan meatballs are made of plants i mean an actual meatball could be an anus it could be like a uh, well, most of the time with um, hot dogs and stuff they literally get the floor sweepings from the slaughterhouses put them all together they also um, uh, they get all the empty carcasses get um, car hoses and like, hose them down and yeah. it falls out they pile it together blend it and yeah. make it into sausages oh, it's disgusting crazy. corpses so they've been giving so many antibiotics to cows that, um, that antibiotics aren't really working anymore on us because we're yeah. eating the antibiotics through the cows and becoming antibiotic resistant so yeah people were um, saying that it's because uh, people are taking too many antibiotics but a large proportion is actually in the meat the majority of it yeah so uh, it's actually because they're and they don't give it to the cattle when they need it they just give it constantly so like the, the i think it's a uh, Ch uh, chickens and pigs they, they give it to them it helps them grow b faster as well yeah, yeah. So it's just crazy. and because they're always in, inside so the chickens and pigs over here are the majority of them factory farm they, they're trying to keep them from be being sick yeah. but as well they wouldn't get sick if they weren't in that environment to start with yeah if we weren't exploiting them and then there's, there's pandemics and these bird flus and viruses coming out of factory farms like we're, we're playing with fire here like you got the coronavirus so they say it was coming from bats you know there's other theories but but like if we stop messing around with animals then we won't be getting these animal derived diseases as well that could wipe us literally wipe us out if we're not careful it's just, it's just karma comes back around man like we're torturing so many animals they're suffering right now in england like millions of them right now just so people can eat them for pleasure so they're suffering for our pleasure yeah. like i just don't see that that's it's such bad karma man like i don't know Take care, guys. Yeah, really yeah. nice talking to you, Zay. Yeah. See you later. See you later. That was an interesting chat. But I reckon um, those guys, particularly, <laughs> might make some changes. That, were, that was a really easy conversation to have. They weren't looking at the screens while we were having the conversation, but I didn't think we really needed to, eh? Um, 
It's always better with the screens though, so they can see what's going on while we're talking. Hey, brother. Hey. What you doing? Oh yeah, we were showing people um, UK uh, slaughterhouses and farms. You know, like what do you? What's your main diet? Meat. Meat. But are you against animal cruelty? Are you against cruelty to animals? Yeah, but yeah, not like this, of course. That's why I eat halal. Halal? Yeah. yeah. So what, what's halal? Halal is not slaughtering like this. And okay. You know, so ha killing them in the right way. You're eating animals' yeah. food, yeah? No, no, no. Why, why? Because I eat plants. Yeah. 